Okay. I bought a Cummins. It's an 07, 24 valve, uh, four wheel drive, 5.9, twin turbo Cummins. Yes, you heard right. I paid 16.5 for it. If you think that was a good deal, tell me in the comments. If you think it was a horrible deal, tell me. So a little bit about me. My name is Levi Milleborg. I am a, but a videographer, editor, photographer. I just like to, I'm an enthusiast with everything with a camera. But I've also been a pretty big automotive enthusiast as well. I've had a couple of different uh, sports cars and I've had a couple different trucks. But this is by far my favorite purchase so far. So I just wanted to kind of show y'all what I got and talk through, you know, all of the mods I got. Also, every mod you see here, I will include a link below to Amazon. If you are interested in buying any of it, please do, because I get a little bit of a kickback, especially since I only have 26 subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, so let's talk about what we got here. Uh, first off, like I said, it's a 07 and a half 5.9 Cummins. So it's the last year of the 24 valve. It is four wheel drive, which is great. Um, and to start here cosmetically, we have iron bumpers front and rear. We have 20 by 12 moto metals on some 33s. There's some Renegade RT uh, mud terrains. Um, we have a leveling kit on it, so it's got a two and a half inch uh, spacer on the front. I don't like that, I am gonna change it. Um, underneath, we've done a couple of different suspension components, inner tie rod, traction bar, and um, a steering box stabilizer. I also did a XR, X, H, F, XRF, something or other ball joints on it. They were the Amazon brand. Highly reviewed, um, but I did those on it. They seem to work well. Mods I've done under there so far. Uh, continuing back with the truck, we have a fast uh, 165 titanium fuel pump, which is great. I also have the cat filters on it. I did that upgrade, or whether you think it's an upgrade or not, I don't know. Continuing to the back a little bit, of course we still have the, the moto metals, and uh, I actually have some uh, airlift bags on the rear for load support. Um, I have the compressor to like air them up and stuff, but I haven't actually wired up a switch to like flip it on. So I kind of get like a air compressor and just pump it up from time to time, but you know, it works. Uh, iron bumper on the rear and then uh, some not so great bed liner. And I also have a mag high tech uh, diff cover on the rear. It seems to work pretty well, as well as a uh, mag high tech transmission pan cover. And the truck has a five inch back exhaust with an axle dump. So it is nice and loud and has a good good drone when you're going down the highway. So yeah, it's a it's it's been a pretty sweet truck. It starts right up. I've done a couple of pretty cold starts. I think the coldest I started it up was uh, maybe like 20 something degrees and it started right up. Not much of a problem. Glow plugs work great. Everything works great. It's got 243,000 miles on it. So. Four wheel drive Cummins, twin turbo, uh, 243,000 miles for 16.5. Eh, pretty good, I, I thought. I, I was pretty happy with the deal. Um, coming to the inside, we have uh, everything you know we need to tow right here. We also have EFI Live, which I need to get reinstalled. It, it's not on right now, but I'm going to reinstall EFI Live. I have all the gauges you would ever need. Um, we got trans, we got EGTs, uh, we got boosts, we got, you know, we got it all. So I'm gonna be switching a few of them out, but they're pretty good. So, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with them that um, not all of the gauges work, but um, the, you know, the boost gauge, trans gauge, and the EGT gauge are the most important ones, and those work, so, so yeah. Coming to the uh, inside of the truck, I'll kind of show y'all what I got going on here. Um, please, if you have any, um, I'm still kind of new at all this, so if you have any like suggestions as to what I have on under here, please let me know. But I have an aftermarket uh, intercooler. I'm not sure what brand. And then I have the twin turbo set up over here. And I'm not quite sure. It looks like whoever owned it before did a little bit of a kit, but I'm pretty sure it's a diesel power source twin turbo setup. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they did a stock turbo down to maybe a 4 S475 or something like that. Don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, tell me. But uh, as far as underneath uh, the hood, what I've done is I've done a rail plug. And then I also did the Quadzilla uh, Boost Fooler. And um, I'll probably put out some, uh, I'd like to put out a review on those, hopefully. 
but uh, they work pretty well. They work, they definitely work pretty well. Uh, and you know, it's a little dirty under here. There's some stuff I wanna fix. We still have the good old uh, intake elbow, which is in good shape. And um, I'm not completely sure what all they did underneath before I bought it. Uh, the engine has been painted, so I'm pretty sure that it was rebuilt. As far as like injectors and everything else, I'm not sure how big they are. If I had to guess, I think they're 50 horsepower injectors, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, you know, this is uh, this is my truck. There's a lot of stuff I want to do to it, but um, you know, there's I've been enjoying it for what it is thus far. Uh, the big thing I'm gonna be doing next on it is for sure getting it tuned. Uh, I got a buddy here who's gonna help me out with EFI Live, and um, I'm hoping to get it tuned real nice because it's untuned right now, which makes it kind of a dog, but it's still drivable and fun and everything. So we're rolling into the Cummins. You know, I'm trying to get some of these whistle sounds. Let me tell you what, those twin turbos, the whistle is just great. Let me see if I can get some of it. Ah, oh, stoplight. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> By the way, we got uh, we got old Danny boy on the uh, on the camera. I'm gonna spin it around so we can see him real quick. You know what I'm talking about? We gotta see. What's up, Danny guys? Boy, so. How you doing? We're cruising around, you know. See, we got what we got here for trans. We got 150 close. Oops, we're going. We're going. Turbo whistle. See, it'd be a lot faster if like how it was tuned, but that's 35 pounds. Woo. 35 pounds of boost. So that's pretty good. Not really trying. Untuned. 35 pounds. It does have head studs, by the way. Air. I don't know what brand they are. MBRP or ARB or you know all the different brands, but it does have head studs, so I'm not worried about the boosties. Um, but yeah, I love this thing, man. <laughs> um, I also would like to do some transmission upgrades. I'm not sure what it has yet. It, it, it runs a little weird just because it's not tuned. But uh, if the transmission hasn't been touched, I would like to do a valve body and you know uh, the GM uh, solenoid and some springs and you know whatever. So anyway, uh, this is my truck. I hope you enjoyed. I would like it if you smash the like button, and I would love it if you subscribe. So I'm trying to get the channel started. Um, as far as what, we, what I'll be posting, I'll be posting truck stuff, kind of more vlog style like this, and then I'll also be using it as kind of a portfolio for my professional work as well. So if you kind of want to see a mix between like filmmaker stuff and like car stuff, then uh, I'm definitely the one for you. So thanks for stopping by. This is Levi Milliborg, and uh, we are out.